Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So today's video is all and all about body mist from Bath and Body Works. There are no shajal, lotions or hand sanitizer, but it's just purely about the fine fragrance mist. So their stores launched in Chennai about two or three months back and that's where yours truly lives. And their online website has finally launched and I do have about seven of them. I think there is a total of 12 or 13 i'm not so sure on that different fragrances and i have with me seven out of which five of them are my top favorites and there are two of them which is like meh, kind of ones but then since this video is about fragrances and it is a video so you guys cannot actually smell it so i would highly highly suggest that you guys actually walk into a store and then smell it even after I've given my recommendations because everyone's choices are different and like for example the Japanese cherry blossom that is one of the best sellers but I personally did not like it I didn't buy it it's not in one of these seven uh, fragrances so you guys know what I mean right so before we can get into the nitty gritty details and if you are new here do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video so all these body mists they are priced at 1295 rupees for 8 fluid ounce which is 236 ml of product so I have been using all these body mists on a day to day basis because I do have a day job and I do use this for office purposes so so this lasts throughout the day for me especially around the first uh, couple of hours like about two or three hours like if I walk by someone else can smell it but then by the end of the day only I can smell it if I try to smell myself I hope I'm making sense and now let's finally get into the body mist so I'm gonna start from the least to the most favorite and in the seventh place is magic in the air and this is how it looks like this one is a blend of almond flowers white iris as well as vanilla now I can smell a lot of vanilla but then the reason why this is in the least favorite is because once it settles down, I feel it smells a little powdery-ish, you know, so I do not personally kind of prefer that kind of fragrance, which smells like powdery. So uh, moving on to the sixth place is Sweet Pea, which is actually not that bad. I do like it. It's just that the other five are much more better than this, but I do like this quite a lot. Like I am wearing it right now and it smells amazing because this has a uh, Sweet Pea, it has Pear, it has fresh raspberry and soft musk and once you smell it for the first time you can smell the raspberry as well as the pure but mostly raspberry and then it kind of settles down to the musky kind of a smell so it's nice it's really nice so next in the fifth place is the warm vanilla sugar which smells amazing because it has vanilla it has a white orchid it has sugar fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood as well now when you smell it immediately it does smell a lot of vanilla and it has a mixture of the sugary slick kind of a smell mixed with it but then it kind of dries down to a sandalwood kind of a smell so this is amazing <laughs> So this is something that is a favorite with my mom. She loves anything that smells vanilla. So I literally got this for her. And this is all that she has used. And she has been using this for the last one year, by the way. That's it. She literally rations it out and she sprays. I'm like, why? Literally, why? <laughs> So in the fourth place, we have the beach, which is one of my favorites. I have almost finished it. And this is such a perfect summer fragrance. Like on a hot summer day, if you spray this on yourself, you will smell exquisite. It is such a beautiful smelling perfume because this has a blend of white Firangi Pani, toasted coconut and bergamot water essence. So this smells coconutty mostly coconutty and it has a light hint of citrus in it which is the bergamot but it smells amazing very intoxicating it's awesome so moving on to number three which i actually did not expect it will be in that place because this kind of grew on me the more i kind of used it the more i started liking it because it smelled so unique and that is mad about you now this one has black currant, it has bright peony, pink jasmine, white patchouli and vanilla musk. 
Now this is a strong fragrance and as soon as you apply it you'll be able to smell the blackcurrant and patchouli and uh, mixed with vanilla and the settling kind of a smell is a vanilla musk so it is pretty strong now i never expected that i would actually like this this much as much as i do because this is such a unique fragrance i do not have anything that smells close to this in my collection so yeah this was like a surprise love so now coming to the second place we have one of my favorites which is almost like all of them but then this one is something that i have repurchased already and that is a thousand wishes now the first bottle already got over which like i said before i picked it up from us now this fragrance has been a best seller like forever with bath and body works and it's a pretty unique and strong fragrance and this one has a blend of pink prosecco which is actually a green green it's actually a grape wine like a literal freaking wine and sparkling quince is a fruit that i've never had before as well as peonies and gilded amber and amaretto creme now this does have a smell very musky which i think is the amber and it has a sweet smell and my most favorite and in the first place we have is hello beautiful now this one again is the second bottle the first one i picked up from us but the thing is i haven't yet finished it but i still repurchased the second one now i was surprised when i fell in love with this smell the reason is because i always always like a fruity sweet kind of a smell florals are always like my third preference but then this is such a floral smell but then i still fell in love with it because it just smells so calming and elegant now this one is a blend of white gardenia it has jasmine petals and magnolia blossom i can literally smell all the three of them mixed together and it smells beautiful it's a nice fragrance <laughs> So yeah if you guys have any specific favorites which are not on the list or even on the list do mention on the comments down below which will be interesting for me to see and maybe in the future buy as well but having said all of this there is just one drawback that i felt about the bath and body works in india that is the fact that there's not much more of the collection like they have is their best sellers up over there in the store as well as online but then there are so many different fragrances like a pure berry they have a, a country apple they have cucumber melon I love melons. Anything melon or watermelon, I freaking love it. But that is not available in India right now. And you have like juniper breeze. Then you have something called Malibu and some pina colada or something. I don't know something very summery. They have something called Kashmir glow, and then they have hot cocoa and cream, which will be chocolatey. I'm guessing. I can keep going on but you guys get the point right so there are so many other fragrances and smells and that is literally deprived so that is the biggest con i feel i cannot wait for them to launch almost all of them at least in the online store that they can launch it it will be amazing so this wraps up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed filming it and if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye